Good day. Today I want us to focus on the taxation paid. Because most of the time, when you are doing the cash flow statement, you are told to do the taxation paid. So, SARS income tax. So, usually you are giving the SARS income tax um, of the previous year and the one of the current year. The SARS income tax of the balance at the end of the, of the previous year, um, which is going to be the opening balance of the current year. And the SARS income tax of the um, current year, the balance at the end. So how do we use this to calculate the um, taxation paid? So if you are giving the SARS income tax of the previous year as a debit balance, so when you are doing the calculation, that uh, amount must be negative. And then if the sales income tax of the previous year is a credit balance, so it must be a positive amount. And then if the sales income tax of the current year balance is a debit balance, so that debit balance, it must be a positive. And then if the sales income tax of the current day is a credit balance. So that balance, it must be a negative. Then after doing that, you're going to add the income tax, the one that you get from the income statement. So let's go in and do the example. Let's go and do the example. So if you can check here, they give us the, I mean the income tax, which is 295,800. Then they also gave us the SARS income tax, the one of the previous year. And then this one is the current year because we were told that the year ends on 28 February 2022. The year ends on 28 February 2022. So this means that these 10,800 is the SARS income tax of the previous year. So we said that if the previous year balance of the SARS income tax is debited, we said that it must be what? We said it must be a minus. It must be negative. So we're going to come here and say minus 18,800. Then the SARS income tax of the current year is a credit balance. So we said that if it's a credit balance, what should we do of the current year? We said it must be a minus sign of the current year. If it's, if it's a credit balance. So we said it must be a minus sign. So it's going to be 22,500. Then we said we must also add, after doing this, we also add the income tax. So the income tax, it is 295,800. Then now we can get the, um, we can get the SARS, I mean, like we can get the taxation paid. So 18,800 minus 2,500 plus 295,800. So that is going to be 295, I mean 259,500. So this is the taxation page that you'll be using in the cash flow statement. Thank you.